voice acting. Easily one of the coolest features of any game, if you ask me. And unfortunately, also one of the most difficult and most expensive ones. Just imagine how boring City of Springs would have been without the epic performance of the brilliant voice actors we hired. Back in 2016, I was working on the prototypes and demos of what would eventually become my first big entertainment production, called Woven. Glitch saw the world for the first time. He was filled with wonder blazing, a woolen world stretched out before them. Soft, bright and amazing. From the very start, I had set one goal for myself and that was that the game had to have voice acting, which kinda got us into this whole wide range of trouble. For this was our first real entertainment game and we had absolutely no idea of the copious amounts of logistic trouble we would be causing for ourselves for the foreseeable future. When you think about game development, you quickly associate it with coding, 2D, 3D art, concepting and brainstorming fun and amazing gameplay. You know, all the fun stuff that makes up a good game. Well, that's only half. Game development is all about logistics and administration. But be prepared for massive Excel sheets with required assets, their current state and their location on disk. Does your game have a story? Yay, but your story needs to be told, often with text and or audio. So you need to write that text and record those voice lines. Then you need to put those text and voice lines in logical folders in your project and find a way to keep them tightly connected. Because you wouldn't want your subtitles to get unlinked with the actual voice lines. Will the game support multiple languages? Even more yay! Now you doubled the logistical hell per language. But needless to say, I think the logistics are definitely worth it. Woven would have been less than half the same experience it is right now if it had been a text adventure. A knitted world, where woolen creatures once lived in peace, is invaded by the rattling sound of machines. Metal insects roam the land. Unravel their plans by all means. Meet Stuffy. A well-meaning but rather clumsy creature, all alone. Join with Glitch, a metal firefly without a past, having lost all he has ever known. Join the journey of this unlikely pair. Woven. An epic tale awaits you. For Woven, the recording sessions were rather simple as we just had, well, the one voice actor, the narrator. But with City of Springs, it's gotten a lot more complicated as we have multiple in-game characters having many conversations with each other. But the voice actors don't have these conversations. They only have their script and have to be directed in how they react. Luckily for professional voice actors, this is their work. And they are absolutely fantastic at it, of course. And there you have it. The elephant in the room. Oh. Professional voice actors cost money. And for an indie game studio, these costs range from super expensive to insanely super mega epic expensive. Generally, the more lines a voice actor has to do, the cheaper they become. So for Woven, it was relatively cheap with our one hero narrator, but for City of Springs it quickly became an expensive feature, way too expensive for our budget originally. And so we dabbled with alternative options like using simple text to speech and the AI tools that were becoming more and more available in those days. Long story short, in 2022 the technology wasn't nearly production ready enough and the AI voice acting results were absolutely terrible so we ended up replacing almost every ai generated voice with a human voice actor well we did actually fully use ai voice acting for the ai robots in the game which felt kind of appropriate i'm taking you on right now 
and Manon here. Don't know what is up. I do know the power is down. Again. This whole district is out of spring power. No cooking, no heating, no nothing. It's the second time this month. I really don't know why Manon here also didn't get replaced. But anyway, since City of Springs has launched on Steam Early Access a few months ago, I've been very hard at work on improving the game based on player feedback. And while I haven't had any complaints on Manon yet, it's time she got her voice cord replacement. For her current voice, we used Altered. An AI tool that offers a lot of voice morphing and text-to-speech options. So now, a few years later, let's give it another shot. First, I tried a few text-to-speech options, as this would definitely be the easiest for me. Just slab in the script lines of Manon, generate, export, and... Replace. Done. All done. Don't know what is up. I do know the power is down. Again, the whole district is out of spring power. No cooking, no heating, no nothing. It's the second time this month. No, as you can see, it's really not good. And there's just no control over how things have to be pronounced. So let's give speech to speech a go. And this way I will have the extra step of having to record myself first. Don't know what is up. I do know the power is down. Again. The whole, whole district is out of spring power. Again, no cooking, no heating, no nothing. It's the second time this month. Nope, still sucks. <laughs> Just kidding. It needs a little bit of tweaking to set up correctly, but now I can simply record all voice lines one by one, export and replace them, and I'm done. And let's see the results in game. Mm, you're Val. Jacob's age, right? Hey, yes, I'm Val. Manon, right? What's up? Don't know what is up. I do know the power is down. Again. The whole district is out of spring power. No cooking, no heating, no nothing. It's the second time this month. Ah, oh, and you need to wait on the ministries to get something fixed. When is your next repair interval, do you know? Like I said, it's the second time this month. We'll have to wait for three weeks. Isn't there something you can do? Three weeks in the cold. That's ridiculous. These machines are not that complicated. I'll take a look. I think this is actually quite okay. Sure, AI voice acting is far from perfect still, and I think it will remain so for quite some time yet. For obviously... Professional voice actors will still be much better, at least for now. But using Altered or other AI tools like Eleven Labs will be a very cost-effective way to add voice acting to your game. Definitely good enough for prototypes, vertical slices or pitch demos to publishers. This way, people playing your demo will at least be able to get a rough idea of the game and how it will feel instead of having to cope with empty conversation and text boxes. But how are you feeling about all the AI hype that's going on? Personally, I think it's just another tool to be used to get the job done. But do you think it's a lifesaver or do you rather believe it's the work of the devil? But for now, I really hope you liked this video once again. And as always, I'd love it if you could like or dislike this video down below. And of course, feel free to also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. See you again next week.